to be dried falling apart. So we're just two big dudes in a Hyundai going for some food. All right. Another neon. This is the place. Leon. God, you're looking terrible. This guy's got a lot of work to do. Where is he? Never thought I'd see you here. What's going on? What are you doing? Taking her for a rip. Uh, she's got to go for some scallops. You're hungry. Yeah. You could, you know, dig me scallops. So, oh boy, just uh, really take a look of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, that's pretty quick. Well, uh, <laughs> didn't really want to do a burn it for me, I guess. No, that's all right. All right, we're uh, we got the Hyundai in quiet mode now, so we can hear ourselves. Uh, and no popcornies, but uh, we're down here with Track Series to catch up with uh, one of our rookie drivers. Uh, I say rookie, but he's had a he had a full season there last year. Um, Sky Mullen, um, and uh, beautiful place uh, down here in Digby, Nova Scotia. And we're going to catch up with him and uh, get uh, get some backstory on this Hyundai we're in, and maybe go back to the garage and uh, take a look at the the real Leon. But um, in the meantime, I usually ask the question uh, where you're from, but I think I know the answer. Oh yeah, right from Digby, born and bred. Born and bred in Digby, yep. right on, man. Yep. The whole family's from down here as well? Yep, both sides of the family. Uh, never really moved too far away, so uh, I think from where I was born to where I live now, it's probably 20 kilometers. <laughs> so, right on. Yeah, never went too far. Perfect. You know, it's hard to leave this area. Oh, it's gorgeous. And we are driving in, what is this? It's a Hyundai Elantra N. 2022 was one of the first ones released I ordered it that well actually when they announced the car I ordered it that month and I waited I think it was six months maybe even longer for it and uh, they sent it right from Korea special ordered uh, I had to get this color special order too and it's got the two liter turbo in it uh, I've done full bolt-ons and uh, all, all the mods were from unique performance in Ontario and uh, I got a I got a tune by exclusive tuning as well from Ontario. So what's uh, what's the stock power on? Stock was two ninety six. That's, that's yeah. a good amount of power. Yeah, now for a front wheel drive. Yeah, now it's about three fifty. I haven't dynoed it. I guess that's my butt dyno. But uh, when you add up all the mods, like I've done, like turbo inlet. It it feels like three fifty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, we get a little bit of a spin there uh, accidentally. Yeah. No, we were in Mexico for that one. So you bought this and then you jumped onto. Autocross or yep. auto slalom, and yep. you what did you what what class were you running in uh, for that first year? D Street, so DS class in auto slalom, and uh, it's pretty competitive. I got third place that year, and that was my first year, never done it before. Um, but I, I had some stiff competition. Zach is pretty good with D Street with his Mini Cooper. Yeah, yeah. stiff competition, but hey, you good learning curve. No, you did really well, and that kind of that gave you the bug, right? Oh yeah, once you get into that. You're pretty much screwed like, and then towards <laughs> the end of that season 
you were at, you did the autocross and then you jumped in and, and did the the school at Atlantic Motorsports Park yep. um, to get your lapping license and that was in this car. Yep, got my lapping license uh, in the fall of twenty two. Yeah, twenty two. Ten. And uh, yeah, yep. I took it at one one lapping day. One lapping day. And then I was one. like, I want to race. <laughs> so one lapping day, yep. and then he goes and buys a race car. Yep. Yep. And there must be something in the water down here in Digby. It definitely is. Man. <laughs> a lot of salt and, and add of, some more additives too. A lot of salt and scallops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I did all of Slalom all last year and track series every event. Except for when I broke Leon and wasn't very good at fixing them. So. Well, I've uh, slowly been learning. I bought the, the Haynes manual and been learning. It's the only way to learn, man. It's just it's getting well, right into right it. I'm elbow deep into the engine right now. So I know we're we're gonna go back and, and mess around with that. I mean, you've dumped, like, just jumped head first into this. Yeah, and I've literally had no experience. I, like, I worked a little bit on vehicles just because down here, you know, not much cash. You got to learn yourself. Right. It's either pony up the dough or learn one or the other. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So you, I mean, you grew up, did your dad work on any cars or anything like that or? No, he was, no, not really anybody in the family who's into cars. It's just, I had a lot of friends that were into them and uh, always wanted to, just never had anything worth doing it. Right. And when I seen this car, it gave me, like there's other cars out there, but for the price point, this car was cheap enough to get out and have fun. And that made me quit smoking cigarettes. So. Yeah. So really more fun and healthier. Yeah. No, and I tell good. everybody, like, if you want to quit smoking cigarettes, find something you want to do yeah. and use that as your motivation. That's the only way I could stop. It's been three years now. That's awesome. Yeah. This car has almost saved your life. Pretty much, yeah. 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 Like say. Back at the garage, uh, we just got our fill of some Big V scallops. Oh yeah, they were good. Yeah, not scallops, scallops. Uh, and this is Leon. Um, so it's good to it's good to be back uh, with Leon. I, uh, I ran this car for three years with Devin Thorpe, uh, and then one year with Ryan Zink. Um, Brian Partridge was the original owner, and he allowed us to kind of get out in it. And then um, Sky was looking to get in a race car, and Brian was looking to sell it, and you picked it up. About a year and a half ago. Year and a half, yeah. yeah. The last, uh, not the AGM from this year, but the one prior, I asked Brian if there was any race cars available and starter ones, and he had a perfect one right here. It's a great car. A great yeah. car to learn on, too. Easy to work on, too, so it's been great for me trying to figure out things. I got the book here somewhere. Yeah. Been learning. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, you had a pretty successful season last year. What uh, Do you remember what you placed in for GT6? For GT6, I got first place in the WCN series, and I'm... I believe it was second in the century. Awesome. I'll have to look, but yeah. pretty sure it was second. It's pretty good. Yeah, you and Jeremy Simmons had some. Oh, yeah, some close head to head. Really battles. great stuff. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. definitely going to cut to some of that footage. Like, that was yeah. incredible yeah, was to watch. Um, yeah, there's some like bumper to bumper stuff going on. And I think Nikolai had a good video of us, like, right, he was back that behind us watching us battle it out. Couldn't, yeah. Couldn't get biased because we were too busy fighting each other. So, hey, well, he's like front row seat. It's yeah. good to be behind to see that, man. It's yeah. like, that's yeah, it awesome. Good. Yeah, so that was uh, that was your first. You had one lapping day. We talked about that in the Hyundai. Yeah, yeah. And then you bought a race car, got and your race license. Took my race school that spring and uh, went. Well, actually, got my race school. And then I think it was the next day was our first track of it. So yeah. And yeah. so the the secret. I don't know if you want anybody to know, but your first lapping and race day. Had you ever driven a manual transmission before? Well, I, I the whole year I pretended that it's been a while but no i honestly never did i just bought the car i even i remember when we loaded it on i said hey mike you wouldn't uh, put that on the trailer for me you know me just pretending but i was like i don't want to fuck up and <laughs> yeah. go over time it's all coming back to me now that's awesome yeah, yeah so like yeah you got you got one lapping day you buy a race car and not driving a manual transmission and you go out there 
and you have a blast yeah. running side by side for the whole season. Yeah, I was a little worried, you know, uh, never driving a manual before and going out there with everybody's a car guy, and I'm just like, yeah, it's been a while. Man. <laughs> yeah. No, it just goes to show you, like, it's 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 a blast. It's good yeah. people. Like, we're all there to help each other. Yeah, everybody's there to help and help you learn, and yeah, I couldn't ask for a better crew. Like, yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't have done it if it wasn't for the people. Right? Absolutely. Like, yeah. It wouldn't be worth it. No, the community makes it, man. I mean, yeah. when you're out there on a, on a weekend camping out and, and watching the yeah. cars go by, like, it's a great time. Yeah, so. it really is. And good car to learn from. And Yeah, well, you know you're learning I mean? right now. She doesn't have a, a power plant at the moment. Yeah, that's a little that's a little project on the go here, but I plan to be ready for race season. Okay. Another month. What else did you do to it? Um, so you got it from Brian, and then you did some cleanup stuff, like you pulled the suspension components yeah, off. Yeah, I pulled the suspension, did a few things. Uh, I switched to coilovers, but I switched back to the stock ACR struts. Yeah. Since then, but, okay. Uh, yeah, they seem to be better. Uh, plus, I blew a coil over too, so I haven't got the rebuild kit yet. So. So you're back on the stock ACR yeah. stuff, and then you did the paint. Yeah, um, I painted it. Uh, put a new seat in, a uh, bigger seat, wider, because I'm a little bit wider feller than you all guys. The so. yeah. Yeah, all the scallops. Yeah, scallops. Yeah. Scallops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that's a is that a Kirky aluminum one? Yep, yep. Yeah. Got it from Lee. Yeah, he's really great to work with. I bought a lot of stuff from him. So yeah, with Sensory yeah. Motorsports, yeah. the video what uh, five? Your first one. Yeah, first one. So yeah. I guess three or four videos ago, we covered yeah. Lee, and yeah, we get a lot of our parts from Lee. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, racers helping racers. That's yeah. what it's all about. Oh yeah, so. and it's uh, seats great. Like love it. So yeah, no, installed man. that myself too. Uh, all the work I've been doing myself. So uh, and I'm not a mechanic. I'm not even a backyard mechanic. So. I'm just a YouTuber, YouTube yeah. mechanic. <laughs> I've learned a lot. Yeah. I think a fair amount of people have rebuilt some cars from YouTube, YouTube Academy. And we're yeah. going to be screwed when YouTube goes. But. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, it, hopefully this will be on YouTube yeah, at some point. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Um, yeah, so we got some work to do. We're going to, uh, I'll get some B-roll and we'll, we'll take a look at the car as we're talking and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah. Um, uh, Sky took the, the block up to Armstrong's yeah. uh, or our uh, A&J Automotive. Yeah. Uh, they're usually called Armstrong's, the A&J Automotive. And they did, they polished. Armstrong Brothers. Yeah, right. And they're, they're world renowned for yeah. small blocks, uh, Chevys mainly. They did my um, cylinder head on the E30. Yeah. And they polished two cranks, they decked yep. two heads for you, pressure tested two heads, yep. and honed two blocks. Yep, great price too, great guys to work with. So Awesome. They did it fast for me too, I told them I had a month and they did it in two weeks, so it was great. Not bad, yep. but you're still yep. on the time crunch. So I'm going to give yeah, Sky a, a hand, kind of maybe doing some plastic gauge. Yeah, I just want to check, see if my bearings are right. I wanted Mike's help with that, just because uh, that's probably the most important thing in the engine. So just a little hand with that, and uh, should be good to put it all back together. If it blows up, I give I give no No, no, that's no all liability. Me, no, no warranties. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no warranties <laughs> expressed. No, so we'll uh, I'll set up a time lapse, and we'll uh, we'll get into this engine. And uh, we just had you know a great great meal and uh, a great rip in the in the uh, Hyundai. And it's just like beautiful weather. It's starting to uh, starting to get it's nice down here. Spring finally. So you right can on. Smell it in the air. <laughs> we'll jump on this and uh, see what we can get done, man. Yeah. Right on. You don't need to know it was two different days. You'd be like, oh, we somehow made it up to Mike's. Grade. No, they're gonna know. My beard's a little longer. Yeah, I'm into yeah. That. You're probably wondering where the questions went. The questions I ask everybody that I forgot to ask Sky while I was down in Digby. Uh, I didn't have my crew there to remind me, so uh, Sky was uh, gracious enough to pop in on his way to Halifax. And we're here in my garage to finish up the interview properly with the correct questions. So one of those first questions is, what is your favorite corner? I know you've only been there for about a year or so, but what's your favorite corner at AMP? I'd say turn four, because I learned pretty quick not to uh, go in there with too much speed, even though it's just a neon, but uh, went right off down into the, the bags. Yeah. You know, I had a good little encounter with turn four and uh, learned pretty quick to uh, prepare for turn four so that way it sets you up for turn five and six which is also a setup for seven so yeah so you, you i'd say that's my favorite just because it's the most important one in my opinion yeah so okay. i've only been there a year but from what i've heard it is the most important one well you did it early and you allowed for us to use your marks as a, a guidance in the rest of the schools for the rest of the year. <laughs> yeah, so, no, I looked at that mark. I was like, okay, I got to slow down before that. Before you get to those. <laughs> that's good. All right. Yeah. That's people. Have, a couple people have chosen turn four. It's a good corner. Yeah. I like turn four as well. Um, okay. And then, again, you haven't been there that long, but um, favorite person at the track, funniest person at the track, uh, who will it be? Well, I'd definitely have to say the funniest person would be James Whitman because uh, a lot of funny comments there. You know, good, good director for my first year and uh, every time he'd come up and chat with everybody, he was always funny. 
Yeah. I like James. James is a great guy. Uh, we're definitely going to miss him as our race director. He was race director for many years at A&P. Um, and now we have uh, Nate Perrin coming in to, uh, to take over for race director this year. And Nate's, Nate's also pretty funny uh, and a great guy. But, uh, yeah, James Whitman, good yeah. people, man. He's helped me out a ton with this, and I know he's helped you. He's down yep. closer to your way in Lawrencetown. Uh, yep, and when I uh, first got Leon, I took him to his shop, and he showed me the ropes and what to do and what to look for and what to expect, and it was yep. good. Awesome. Yep. That's great, yeah, man. Glad. Yeah. It's a shame that he stepped down, but I'm sure it's a tiresome job. So It is, yeah, a lot of work, uh, kind of a thankless position sometimes yeah. in that. So, yeah. But anyways, thank you, James, for everything you do Thanks, man. and have done and are probably still going to do because uh, I know you're still our scrutineer. So, mm -hmm. uh, okay, cool, man. And then uh, this one has nothing to do with A&P, but if you had unlimited funds, what car would it be? Well, probably... A Ford Ranger? No. Ford <laughs> Ranger. No, just, Dodge yeah. Viper for sure, man. The 2017, that white and blue. There, there. Yeah. <laughs> big, big dollar car, but man, what a beautiful piece of machinery. So, awesome. And you're a Dodge guy. I like, am now, yeah. Yeah, you are now. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're an Elantra guy too, but yeah, yeah I guess yeah. Dodge. But anyways, so that, that's, uh, that's the questions. Um, I think we're going to get back to uh, the engine build. Uh, with Sky, and um, you'll see us plastic gauge all of those mains and um, and see about putting that engine together. So we're going to jump back to that. Thanks for letting us interject with the questions. Really appreciate it. Now, back to the show. Do it. This is the smallest, uh, smallest one we have. So we're gonna put it on top of the crank on the main journals, and then put the bearing shells in our girdle, and then get that back on top and see what we got. We did the clearances on the mains. Um, Sky's gonna take over and do the clearancing on the connecting rods, but it's looking pretty good. He's gonna clean up uh, a little bit of the paint and the mating surfaces and stuff, so it goes all back together good. But man, I had a great time. Yeah, thanks uh, a lot for coming. Buddy. Absolutely, buddy. It's been yeah. a real pleasure being down here. So we'll catch you guys on the next episode of In the Garage with Track Series. Again, I'm Mike Reese with Reese Racing, and uh, yeah, we'll see you later. Peace. This week, who wouldn't quit? That guy wouldn't quit, even when a bunch of us were standing around going, Jesus, we wish that guy'd quit. <laughs> and he never quit. He learned a hell of a lot about neon motors. Uh -oh. <laughs> he learned a hell of a lot about motoring, and he helped a fellow racer's dream of doing a race school come true. And he made a bunch of us pretty proud. Sky Mullen, get up here. <laughs> Sky, where are you? Jesus, I made a good speech and everything. <laughs>